Hey there. <laughs> it's CJ Miller. I'm in my kitchen in Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm going to tell you, we're right across the river from beautiful Bossier City, Louisiana, right across that Red River. Come check us out. But look, <laughs> I literally just dropped a lid. Not this lid, but it's a good thing I can, uh, I'm not doing live videos. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh my God. You know, but yeah, so take two. Uh, but listen, this is a brisket that I've had uh, in the freezer that I got last season at the farmer's market. You know, you can keep um, uh, a whole cut uh, beef and steaks and roast and, and anything, pork, anything, anything that's like uh, substantial, uh, you can keep for up to a year uh, airtight in your freezer. And it's, it's going to be delectably, deliciously good. So... Um, yeah, so that's, that's what we have here. And, uh, there's a great, uh, there's a great butcher that comes to our farmer's market. I go see them every year. Okay. So it's a double boiler. I'm double boiling this, uh, I got my water and uh, barbecue sauce. I marinated it in the barbecue sauce and then I poured the barbecue sauce in the boiler and then, uh, yeah, so that's it. And then, uh, medium to uh, medium to low, in between that medium and low. And I'm just going to go real slow with this, let this go. Probably about four hours on here will be all that it, all, all, all that's going to be needed. So, uh, and I'm just doing it. So I'll have some stuff for the weekend, you know, some variety for the weekend. I like to cook, uh, when I get in the mood to cook, you know, I like to cook, um, a few things and, uh, and that way I can go for a couple of days just heat, heating up some things real quick, you know, a few days in a row. So anyway, but yeah, this Gotham Steel. What's impressed me, I got this in the mail. I unpacked it, put everything away, used it and everything. And you know what I thought this whole time is I thought, uh, and I've been here since in this apartment since November and I ordered this uh, right around that time. So I literally thought... Uh, because it was my Christmas present. I ordered it in, in time for it to be my Christmas present to myself. I really thought they sent one lid that I would use for the, uh, yeah, for this. And I was like, really? I was like, wow, <laughs> you know? And the reason why is because the square pan, uh, there are two square pans. One's kind of shallow, and then there's another one that's a deeper square pan. And it's got a square lid that fits that. And I thought, wow, that's neat. They just sent, like, whatever. I thought they sent one, uh, I want to say a 9-inch lid. Might be a 10-inch lid. Maybe a, whatever, whatever standard skillet. Okay, the sa the standard skillet, that's their pride. That's their main thing, their, their, their skillet. That's what they kind of started their company with. And everybody really, this is what you look for. Firstly, when you look for cookware, you say, what kind of skillet and everything like that. So it's good. Uh, I've talked about it. It's got a good durability. Uh, three, three times uh, plated with Teflon. So that's why you really don't go above um, medium heat when you're cooking uh, in Teflon coating because anything much higher than that will uh, break it off. Fortunately, you don't need to go. When you're cooking, you really don't need to go above uh, medium for the most part. And if you do, then you can always, uh, go to your cast iron stuff, which is, I'll, I, I'm going to start collecting cast iron, uh, and, uh, 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 I think there's a metal, uh, skillet kind of thing. Uh, um, my, there's something I want. That's a good, it's a good, uh, metal. I think it's, uh, they were calling it mylar when I was down South, but they were making, they, they would take, it's a big, huge, oval kind of pan that's a kind of Dutch oveny, and then and people use that for uh gumbos down there a lot too I, I I still like using a cast iron for for gumbos a cast iron pot and everything it's just you know uh there's benefits for everything um but anyway yeah uh, the the I'm impressed because I just realized sorting through my uh cookware that yes I do have a lid for the skillet and I've got the same lid for the, uh, you know, so that's good because like, I was like, okay, well, it's nifty, but I guess if I didn't have another pot or something, I was okay with it. Cause I also had the same, you know, these lids, if you have a, a lid that's with another set of, uh, you know, 
cookware that's the same size, the same uh, circumference, uh, then then they're interchangeable and stuff. And I do. I have I have a set of uh, Rachel Ray cookware cookware as well. That uh, the lids, uh, even though they're styled differently, they fit just as well and just as snugly. And uh, but that's kind of cool. I don't have to. I actually can be cooking something here. Uh, if I wanted to in this and still be cooking something here and it would be great. And, oh, being that, being that so fantastic because it just occurred to me if I wanted to do a soup, but then I also wanted to do, uh, you know, a bigger piece of roast, but I needed this for something else. And I actually could use the double boiler in the skillet. Although I do have another pot that, that this uh, double boiler uh, setup would work with. But anyway, I'm cool. I'm just, I'm just having fun. I love to, when I get into the kitchen, like I said, I want to cook. Uh, when I get after it, I cook a few things uh, so that like the weekend's coming up. And I really won't have to cook again until like Monday or Tuesday or something like that, other than just like reheating stuff, something in the microwave or something. But you know, if I got the energy, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cook it all at once. And, you know, uh, you know, I got a sliced pizza that I can have, and I've got this, and then I've got some chicken wings. And, of course, that frees up my time because I'm going to be doing uh, some shopping. <laughs> uh, and I don't want to I don't want to come in from shopping and then end up having to like uh, – you know, cook dinner or something like that, you know, usually, usually kind of, yeah, I was like, I don't want to come in here and then uh, shop and then take like another uh, half an hour, half an hour to 45 minutes to put up groceries and stuff like that. And then turn right around and have to cook a dinner or something like that. I want everything to be, uh, yeah, I just want there to be something ready to go. Also, I'm going to start getting into cooking more uh, meats like this. Uh, and I'll probably be doing some videos, uh, some creativeness about uh, meat in large quantity and then how to get some variation because I really want to get into that whole, um, I really want to get back into that whole like serious keto thing and getting these uh, last eight or nine pounds uh, thrown off. I'm so close. And I've been, I've been this close before, even a little bit closer. Uh, yeah, ideally... I'll tell you what happened. I went to a today to see a doctor uh, and and got some readings and stuff like that. And I stepped on the little scale and everything. Of course, I was like so close to being like uh, my expected weight, my perfect expected weight. I recall that my expected weight from when I was uh, in my 20s was to be around 150 seven, 156, 157. They think that my expected weight, the weight that they expect me to weigh was, uh, 154. Well, I was over that, <laughs> uh, by their scale, just about, uh, uh, roughly, roughly 10 pounds over that. But then again, I was wearing, uh, clothes and everything. And when you, when you, uh, way out when you measure somebody, you know, you think about, you want to deduct for clothes and everything. So I'm not really as far off from my goal. I'm so close to being where I need to be ideally fit for someone, uh, my age, height and size and everything. So, uh, that's kind of cool, you know, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get really into this. Now I'm going to spend the weekend, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll behave, but I have uh, Saturday. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some damage Saturday. I'm gonna have a really, really good time Saturday, and I'm going to do a whole like eat whatever I want to eat, blow it out, get it all out of my system. I do that every once in a while, just like totally rip it down, and that way I can get back into. After that, I go right back into my diet, and it's really, really easy because I will have had. Uh, so many carbs and breads and whatever like that, then it's like, oh, gee, I'm so burnt out on bread now. You know, uh, it works for me. It's a good way to psychologically, when I know that I've got just to do a real boost, a good hurry up and get it done, uh, then I go in there and for spend about a day, do whatever I want to do, 
uh, take advantage of a good cheat day. Make it a really good cheat day. And uh, it's not so much a cheat day. Cheat means you almost get to feel guilty about it. If you have a, a diet and then say it's a free day, uh, well, I'm going to make full take full advantage of my free day. That means when I go to the farmer's market, if I want to have a chocolate pastry, I'm going to have a chocolate pastry. If I want to have uh, some poutine, which is like uh, French fries and brown gravy with toppings and uh, cheese curds, or the guy I know uses uh, mozzarella, squared mozzarella, but it's very similar, uh, you know, I, and, and it's a good, you know, I joke, <laughs> I say, what does he call it? He, he he has a name for his business, I forget. But I joke and I say, you should call it Canada Fry, you know, because it is the national uh, snack food of Canada, uh, poutine, you know. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you remember if you've watched the video that I've talked with you about the crystal hot sauce? Let me just pause this video for a second. Would... Well, there are some things huh, that are just damn essential in my kitchen. <clears throat> Crystal hot sauce. Um, it's a Tabasco sauce-like product, and I've talked about it before, but it actually has uh, uh, a better flavor. It's still ever bit, ever bit as spicy as you might think, uh, but it's also got a balance so that it's not just a balance. If you want something that has just a little bit of sweetness to it, tiger sauce. Uh, and I think whoever did this must have been a fan of the LSU Tigers football team or whatever LSU. You know, we're calling, you know, I'm not a big football fan, but that's probably where they uh, drew the name from. But let me tell you, this stuff is amazing. I was talking about jambalaya in a video before, and I think I've even made it where if you took some rice and threw some things in it, you wanted a shortcut to a jambalaya and a good jambalaya flavor, uh, this would do it to taste. Take your rice, uh, do it together, put in a little uh, bell pepper, onion, celery, possibly some carrots, garlic, whatever, and then your meats or your vegetables uh, or whatever that you're going to do. But then if you didn't have uh, a good recipe on where to go from there, you could use this stuff. This stuff is great. Uh, it's great for everything. It's actually got a sweetness to it. I've talked a lot about it. I love it. But the essential thing that I want to have in my kitchen, especially since I've learned to take this stuff and put it on a breaded chicken wing, is almost identical in flavor to the uh, to my favorite chicken wings, those blazing wings so that, that they don't make anymore that I went on this obsession about. And I, I did like a whole like two or three months of, of talking about this. Well, uh, <laughs> chicken wings or whatever. Uh, had a, I did all sorts of like experimentation on how to find the... The, the proper uh, chicken wing for me. I was going to try to recreate that recipe. Actually, using this with the uh, with the uh, pecan crusted fried chicken wing portions is breaded, and then you have to like finish cooking them yourself. There's it's it's you know. Uh, there, it's not the, the the chicken's not cooked, but it's uh, breaded, and uh, probably flash fried just enough to or whatever, just enough to get it to get it seared on there, uh, and then you would take it home and you bread it. But I'm pretty sure any sort of chicken wing uh, would work. Any sort of any sort of fried chicken wing or something that you, that you have, any sort of recipe or whatever, because this is what makes that flavor. And I'm telling you, uh, if I didn't know any better, <laughs> I would swear that whoever was making those uh, blazing wings, uh, this was their magic potion. In a flash, the tiger sauce would work there. The condiment on that too, by the way. The tiger sauce 
is still spicy, but it's a bit sweeter. It gets a natural sweetness from some of the uh, uh, some of the ingredients that are in here, which is I'm gonna do a comparison because I'm talking about this now. Okay, so cayenne peppers, and then sugar is the second ingredient. Okay, and then it's got a vinegar, uh, and then red peppers and everything like that, and chili pepper. But this is, yeah, this is a just a sweetness. So this is like a hot sauce with uh, more sugar than your traditional hot sauce, really. Uh, and then it's got some other flavors. And of course, this is hot sauce, aged red peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, no sugar, right? And this one. Aha, cayenne peppers and sugar, the second ingredient, and then vinegar, and then all those other little things. Some of these uh, derivatives down here, uh, they're, you know, uh, th these, I don't know, some some of it's for color, and uh, the natural flavor, that is probably the aromatics that, that, that come with it. Like there's, there are, there are notes of uh, aromatics, vegetables in here, like a uh, celery, onion, and it's very mild, but you know how you get that uh, good roast and then it's been done with uh, bell peppers and onion, celery, and has that good aromatic aroma to it. This, this has notes of that. So that's where those natural flavors come in at. But this is my favorite for the hot wings. And this is just something that you just got to do. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to stop talking about food. Obviously, I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I went to that doctor and realized that, hey, I'm so close. Let me just, let me just enjoy food. Let me talk about it. Let me cook ahead. Let me do some things uh, in preparation for the weekend. And then I'll go out and I'll have a really, really grand time uh, this Saturday. And then right after that Saturday, it is, boom, really, really, really straight up going to be me making food videos about uh, enhancement of my keto diet experience and doing some more physical uh, work. So between that, uh, between the food and then the more physical work that I'm going to put into uh, myself, I'm just going to knock out these last 10 pounds. I've kind of gone back and forth uh, for the last uh, eight or nine months. And it's like, you know what? Shoot, it's hot outside. That's extra sweat. You know what I mean? I will just get this down. And it's not really about the weight. It's about the this three pounds of fat that they want me to decrease that ratio in my body mass by three percent or by three pounds three pounds from being a prime candidate for what they want to see so yeah hell yeah i can lose three pounds of uh body fat ratio you know <laughs> and how i would do that is to increase uh, some weight training. So, so some of that's going to be coming up. So, okay. Anyway, that's my big plan. That's my big scheme and, uh, wish me luck. You know, we all need support when we're taking on something, especially when we're so close. So, you know, I'm very safe. I'm in a very safe zone. I just want to get, uh, I want to have a little bit more of a cushion between myself and, uh, the topper part of the, like I'm in that, I'm in that, I'm in that safety bar, but I'm at the top part of the safety bar. And I want more of a, I want more of a distance between me and that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, better safe than sorry. And like I said, I think about this stuff almost economically. Like when I started counting carbs and counting uh, calories and everything. So, uh, yep. Okay. I love you guys. Peace. Love and light. Good night.